Hey, I stream on Twitch. And you know that part of the song TV Off by Kendrick Lamar, where he goes, mustard. <laughs> I'd like to have something where my Twitch chat can redeem this, have the vocals playing, and have some effect on my camera. Something like this. Mustard! <laughs> I'm putting up all the assets so you can download them for free. So like, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Okay, so the concept I have in my head is not really complicated. I want that mustard part of Kendrick Lamar's TV off, but I need it to be a cappella because I don't want the background music. I want it to basically be seamless. I want it to come in and then maybe have some reverb at the end. Hey. What's that on that beat? Oh, mustard! And then stop there before he says <laughs> the n-word. <laughs> so I'm gonna sample this and at the same time in OBS Studio for my live stream, I want to have not only a shake effect on the camera, but I also want like some sort of waves you know, you know when Professor X is doing the thing with his head and it's sending out like waves? <laughs> I want that. So I can go mustard and it can go on screen. So I'm gonna start by sampling this part. I'm gonna use the voice mod recorder extension. Hey. And I should be able to cut it off like that. That's what I love about this extension is it allows you to actually resample it. It's actually perfect. So I'm gonna download that, save it in your folder. And then we wanna bring it to an audio editing software like Audacity. I'm using this one because it's free. Import that file we just recorded. What I want to do is maybe fade out and then add a little bit of reverb. So I'm going to select from three seconds to the end here. And I'm going to go to effect and I'm going to fade out. So it sounds like. <laughs> Technically, we can use that. I'm going to try to add some reverb, though, to see uh, to see where it goes. Now, I have a little problem. My track actually stops here. So any effect I put is going to be abruptly cut right there. What I want is to maybe record like an empty sound. I'm going to click right there to make sure my playhead is here. And I'm going to make sure that I pick like a microphone that is not my current microphone. So let's click record. Nice, which means that I can select that and then add my reverb. So my reverb is going to be applied to that part and continue a little bit. I want reverberant to be 100 and we can preview it. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> let's click OK and we can see it continues. And of course, we're going to fade out that last part. Fade out. We're ready to export it. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I recently created a video on how to create a shockwave effect and we'll use the exact same principle. We basically need an alpha ring, so a white ring on a black background moving like that, and then we'll duplicate our camera, set the alpha channel to that ring and then add some wobble to it. Now, in our case, if that's the effect that we want to do, we want multiple rings consecutively, right, for the whole duration and then and then we want it to end eventually. So there's multiple ways that we can achieve this. We could be making it in OBS Studio, but I know you guys don't like the super complicated stuff and using OBS Studio as an editing software. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the rings myself, probably in Adobe After Effects or, or something like that, and then I'll make them available to you for free, of course. This is not an Adobe After Effects tutorial. We know that our audio is like 6.5 seconds approximately. All right, we have a new composition. I just realized I didn't check the settings at all. Yeah, no, we want that to be 1080p. And uh, let's create our ring. So I'm going to go to the shape tool. I'm going to go to ellipse tool. Uh, let's set that 1080 to 1080. Up top, we don't want to have a fill. So we'll put that transparent. But uh, we do want a stroke of actually a pretty good, pretty big, way bigger. All right, we just needed to scale up. And then we need a bunch of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import that audio just so I can see how it fades out. All right, let's animate this. That's zero. And then around here, 30 frames. Let's see how fast that is. Master! <laughs> I didn't expect it to play the audio. Let me turn that off. Boom. Okay, not bad, not bad, except maybe faster. Let's go extra, extra, extra thick. Reduced, reuse, ikiki. Maybe a little too thick. <laughs> Wait. I just realized something. <laughs> I could make it go to the beat. Like, mustard. Wait, no, no. It's a cappella. There's no beat. Okay, let me stop. Let me stop. So here's what we have so far. All right, so in OBS, we can add them as a media source because that's what they are. They're basically videos. I'm gonna call this one Ring One. Click Browse, go find them. Anyways, Rings Front are right there. I'm gonna click on Loop for now. And we have them. Flash warning, I guess. Sorry. <laughs> 
All right, cool. Now, best practice as always when you're live streaming is to have your camera on a separate scene. And what we can do is basically have this whole effect be on this scene, the scene where your camera is separately, which means that once we activate the effect, it will take place on every other scene where your camera is. So I'm going to bring ring one to this scene. Just going to copy it here, right click, paste, reference, make sure it works, flash warning. It does work. I'm going to bring it all the way down because I never want that to actually be visible. Now I'm going to go to my camera filters and we want a camera shake effect. So let's find that. So filters and I'm guessing most likely is going to be in the shader filter plugin. So I'm adding a user defined shader, load text from file, browse and find something with a title that seems to correspond. Is there something called shake? Oh, there is right there. Boom. All right. I managed to get the wobble that I want. You can copy my settings right there. So this will be one of the many effects I want to trigger. So I also realized that there's no warning for the mustard sound. So if I'm using this as a channel point and people redeem it, I don't want it to just go mustard and scare the heck out of me, which it will probably do anyways. I kind of want the little countdown. So maybe I'll put a little part of the instrumental go ta 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 mustard. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right. Uh, ring, ring, ring a ding ding. Let's use clone source, source clone actually. This plugin will allow us to duplicate the camera and then add that shockwave effect to it. And if you're wondering what was the shader filter plugin, it's right there. That's the one. Clone source gives you an extra source here. So if I click add source, I will see something called sort. I keep saying it wrong. Source clone. All right. I'm going to call this cam clone mustard. So I'll remember why I created it. There it is. Clone type source. And what source do we want to replicate? We want our camera. So we'll find our original camera source. In my case, it's called ZV-1 because I'm using a Sony ZV-1. Hi, look at that. Boom. And now we can add whatever effect we want to this camera. Wait, why are you? Oh, it's flipped. I'm going to right click, flip horizontal and nice. There we go. One to one. I'm going to go to filters and we'll find advanced mask. Advanced mask is another great plugin right there. And it creates a mask under mask type. We're going to go with source and that source is going to be the ring. Now I have the ring on another scene. I'm just going to delete that other scene where I was testing the rings just to make sure. Go back to cam. OK, cool. So now it should have only one that says ring one. There it is. And that should be my alpha mask. Uh, why is it not showing? Is it because it's not on? There it is. OK, so that's <laughs> that's our alpha mask abiding to that ring. If I turn off my original camera, this is what we get. We just need to add a wobble to that like before that advanced mask effect and then we'll get it now that we have our alpha mask with the ring we just need to wobble what's inside that ring and we're going to do that using again the shader filter plugin user defined shader click ok load text from file click browse and there's multiple ways to like distort the image i kind of want to try ripple okay we can already kind of see the effect the problem right now is that it's deforming the original ring and we don't want that so what we're going to do is basically take that user defined shader and click on the arrow up here to bring it up. So now it's only distorting what's inside. Play around with the actual factor. You can turn off the mask if you want to see the full. <laughs> oh my God. If you want to see the full effect, you basically play around with the values until you find something that is like kind of satisfying. I want it to be slightly subtle, not too subtle, but pretty subtle. So now all you have left is two things to trigger during the alert, or at least at the right timing. Uh, it's going to be this single source, which is the ring and that single filter, which is your shake filter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename that filter so we can find it easily later on cam shake. I'm going to go back and tidy up that audio and add that intro element that I told you. Thankfully, I did not delete any of this. And now I'm going to use a streamer bot to trigger the whole thing. You can use other bots like Mix It Up or even Atom as long as they allow you to turn on a single source. OK, if your bot is that good, it should be able to let you do that uh, and also turn on a single filter, which is the cam shake. OK. OK, so we're here in streamer bot and what we're going to do is create a brand new action. I'm going to right click here, click add, call this one mutard. That's mustard in French. And then under sub actions, we're actually going to start with a delay because of that little intro part. We remember that intro part was 2.3 seconds. So I'll right click, go to core, go to delay, and we'll go with 2,300 milliseconds. Click OK. Then we'll tell it to play that audio file. So right click, uh, core, sounds, 
play sound. First thing I'm gonna do is uncheck finish playing before continuing. And then I'm gonna browse right there, find our mustard full edited .mp3. Here you can mess with the volume if you want to. You can also test it if you wanna hear what it sounds like one last time. Let's do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna click okay. Also, I realized like, what am I doing? It needs to play the sound and then wait and then do the things. So I'm just gonna click and drag this up. There you go. So it plays the sound, it waits the duration of the intro, and then it uh, turns on the ring. So what I have here in OBS, I'm leaving the cam clone on because it's just replicating the camera. It's not doing anything. The thing that you want StreamerBot to turn on is the rings because that will reset the ring every single time. So that's a good thing. Also, right now I have them on, the, on a loop. We don't want that. I'm going to double click, turn that off so that it plays once and then it stops just like that. So right click, we're going to go to OBS sources, set source visibility state. The scene is cam. The source is ring one and the state is visible. Make it visible. All right. That's one out of two. Second thing I wanted to do is remember, turn on that filter. So right click OBS sources, set source filter state. Now the source is ZV1, that's my camera, and the filter is cam shake. And we're gonna set that to visible. Nice. Now it would be cool to know that after the intro, from that moment to the complete end of the sound, how much time? 6.5 seconds. So I'm gonna right click and I'm going to go to core, delay, and I'll put 6,600 milliseconds to test it out. And after that, what I want is for the cam shake to stop. So what I'm going to do is basically duplicate the cam shake here. I'm going to right click on it, go to duplicate sub action, double click on it and make it to hidden. That way it resets it after waiting that time. We also want to turn off the ring right now. So I'm going to right click, duplicate that too. It appears at the bottom, double click on it, Oop, double click on it and make it hidden. So when everything is said and done, those sources, the ring source and the camera shake will be hidden and it'll be ready to be triggered once again. So I'm going to turn off the ring. I'm going to make sure that my cam shake is turned off here. All right. Now we need to figure out how do we want to trigger it. Now it's streamer bot here, so you can use pretty much whatever. You can use your heartbeat if you want. <laughs> I'm going to set it as a channel point trigger. So I'm going to right click under the trigger tab here. I'm going to go to Twitch. I'm going to go to uh, channel reward reward redemption create reward and we'll call it must the cost will set it at for me i'll set it at 10k and i'll describe it real quick i think this is the kind of channel point you want to put a global cooldown on but i'm just testing it right now so clicking okay and okay now we have our trigger and we're pretty much ready to go we can right click to test the trigger and uh hopefully everything is timed properly master Oh my, it actually works way better than I anticipated. So <laughs> actually, I'm going to do the Twitter clip right now. Hey, y'all, Gal Level here. I just made a tutorial for you to be able to create this channel point reward using StreamerBot. And it goes something like this. Master! <laughs> and then it stops. <laughs> Wow, there it is. So recap, in order for you to recreate this, you need to download the files. I'm going to put a link in the description. You're going to have the rings in there. You're going to have that special audio edited. It's perfect. You'll need some OBS plugins such as the shader filter plugin. You'll need the source clone plugin to duplicate your camera. And then in StreamerBot, the delay is 2.5 seconds and 6.6 .6 seconds. Of course, customize it to your own will, do whatever you want, switch the song, but you now know how to create this effect or something similar in OBS Studio. So uh, I think you should subscribe, first of all, and you should also follow me on Twitch.